Hey guys, welcome back to the Deep Dat Show with myself, Keely, and my lovely co-host, Jamie, Jamie Case. Case. We're not going to cut you out this week, don't no, worry. No, um, Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and thank you so much for all the love so far. We really appreciate it. Yeah, make sure you subscribe because we see thousands of you lot watching our videos, but only a couple hundred subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to our thing. We love the support. We appreciate it. But yeah. Yep, 100%. We've got a special guest with us today. He's a very, very special guest. You know, it's live when he's on, <laughs> lights, camera, action, <laughs> hype when he's on. <laughs> they even say he's right when he's wrong. Have you heard how he hypes up a podcast? You understand? He's definitely for the culture. And truth be told, when he comes in, when he comes in the interview or podcast, it's definitely magical. We got no... We've got a special person here, man. The lovely Tricky. Tricky. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me, man. <laughs> thank, thank you for, for coming on. Me. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So, I'll clap for myself. Yes, no, I will clap for you too. No, nah, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. God bless you. Sorry about that. Thank thank you you oh, that was horrible. You're thank special. You. <laughs> yeah, come on. So, before we get into the amazing things that you're doing now, mm. let's just rewind and take it all the way back to when Tricky was about... 10 years old yeah. tell us a bit about that tell us about yeah. growing up in hackney family a bit about, background yeah a bit of background on you, you know. well, growing up in hackney i grew up in a um a place in hackney that a lot of a lot of people know about jack dunning yeah we know jack dunning yep. i grew up in jack, yeah, dunning. jack dunning yeah um so i grew up in there all my i grew up there all my life like around we had like the black boys on one side mm -hmm. and on another side we'll have like the bods what we call the bods, the white boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get okay. me? So that's where when people say, "Why do you talk? Why do you talk like that?" Well, you might catch me yeah, speak with a Cockney slang. A bit slang. of Cockney yeah. slang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you might catch another guy from um, in London Fields, but doesn't really speak like that. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. Like he just speaks raw, like yeah, so you, street. Yeah, yeah. Like course, me, course, I've course, got course. that, but I'm just really that explaining that to so yeah, 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 when you've got that. No, I've got it too. I've got it too. Yeah, we used to go to the pub and sweet. Yeah, that, come yeah, on, mate. Yeah, yeah, so course. it's not come from nowhere. Hmm. But um, yeah, I grew up in Jack Dunn and moved down to um, Millfield. Okay. So I was so like, like... E5. That's where, like the square so where E5 is in that. What, in that a, what about your family background? Like, where are you from? Like, you know... What do you mean? Like, country, country wise. Country oh, wise. Um, Ghana. My, yep. my grandma's from Ghana. Okay. My mum's dad is from Antigua. Okay. But my dad, who I've done the um, thing with, yeah. he's from Barbados. Okay. Yeah. So wow. you're, you're, you're the best I'm of both I'm all over the gap, bro. Yeah. You're the best I'm all of both over the gap. Wow, you got it all. I'm all over the gap, Okay. Man. Yeah. So how about any siblings? Yeah. Brothers, well, sisters? I grew up with um, my brother. He's the one brother that's got, we've got the same mother, like mother and father. Yeah. And I grew up with my st stepbrother and sister. Okay, yeah. and my mum met my um, uh, yeah, new, a, new, a new, new fella yeah. when I was younger. And I grew up with them, about five, six of us in a little two bedroom. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, like most of us in Hackney. Two yeah. bunk beds in one room. For sure. So that's four, yeah. four heads yeah, yeah. and one single bed with the two girls top and tail. Come like a dorm room. Yeah, so, no, yeah wow. it was like a dorm All room, man. Yeah, of but it was good. It was nice. It was yeah, nice. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? I get it's to home. appreciate it. Yeah, but that's how we grew up, man. And um, I think after that, after moving to Square, that's when I was like, I, my aunt used to live in Pembury. Okay. So I used to hang around in Pembury, like okay. a, a lot of my years, my younger years, people yeah. don't know. They always say London Fields, London Fields. Yeah. But I, I, For those that don't know Hackney, Jack Dunning, Pembury yeah. and Milford, is they're probably like 10 minute drives yeah, away. They're yeah, they're all together. Yeah, yeah, everything all literally everything on each other's doorstep. I'm the doorstep. one person, yeah. bro, and I'm not even hyping myself or anything, yeah. but I'm probably the one person in Hackney that they'll say, well I've seen him everywhere. So, yeah. Do you get me? Okay. Wall Street, Homerton. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? So like, on that topic, mm. you're actually... A, you're, I feel like your generation, is, mm. it's above our generation. You're from a generation where when you was growing up in Hackney, yeah. Hackney didn't have problems with Hackney. No, no, of course not. Hackney course not. had course problems not. with Tottenham, right? Yeah. So yeah. what was that like? So, wait, that wait, was before we get into mm. that. We, we was there where you was like 11, 12 years old. Like, what did what was you doing at that time? Who was you around? Was you like a footballer? Oh was you gosh, no, a no, 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 no. Yeah, no. What was your title? What was you I, I think, I think, I think, I think at that time I was just. Um, I've all, I've always been about girls, man. To be honest, I yeah, love yeah. I love those little creatures. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. no, hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. percent. I've always been, in, but in the nicest way. Like even yeah, if it was friends, man. and I was want to be around girls, even now, yeah. a lot of my closest friends are girls. 
people will think I'll roll with like 60 men, like, no, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but Trust me, just doing this podcast alone, there's a reason why I chose Keely to be yeah. my partner, because girls have a certain low E, they're yeah. not, they're no, not, bro, they're not the envious, they're not envious, I can tell her, you know what, what you've done today, I didn't really like it, and mm. she's not mad at me, like, yeah. oh, fuck this podcast, fuck yeah. this, you get me? she takes it on the chin and she gives me uh, cr- uh, criticism, yeah, criticism, yeah. criticism back, yeah. you get me? I'm able to take it on the chin, so it's definitely... The right thing to do to Plus have women around you. So when you walk into the club with them, all eyes are on you. Of course, obviously she's like, come with the Alicia Keys hairstyle right yeah, now. Yeah, the yeah, place, she's yeah. BLM. She told me about that. Like, Eleven hours and all. Yeah. Eleven Black and a half hours. This yeah. is like that real graft, guys. Like, I'm no, like, that's a graft, mate. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad that it was mentioned because otherwise I would feel like, wow, I sat no, there for eleven and a half hours and they weren't even mentioned. So never <laughs> school day, secondary school. Like, what what school did you go to? Like, boys' school. I'm Hackney school. all over, but I went to a school. Um, Hackney Free. I went Hackney Free. Oh, yeah, Hackney Free. School. I That's went Hackney Free yeah. Primary School, and I went Hackney Free Secondary School. Now, I don't know about no Hackney Free Primary School. Yeah, Hackney Free Primary was, School. It was next to um, across the road from Homer and House. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like um, I can't remember the name of the school now. It's on Homer and High Street. Oh, the City name Academy. Of City Academy. Oh, yeah. Okay. But so yeah. Um, my earlier days was going to school there and hanging around in um, Pembury. Yeah, okay. But my stepbrother, his mum, lived um, in London Fields. Got okay. you. So that's how... I'll, I'm just trying to give you the thick insights of how all my connections... Came, came to life. From every yeah. single department, yeah. like whether it would be the square, whether it would be Pembury, whether it would be Wall Street, Hummer and London Fields. Okay. That's where all my connections came from. So 13, it was just... Um, yeah, man, just getting into a little bad stuff like yeah, you know what I mean. So because at thirteen, fourteen, that's where most men turn mm. to, you the know, gang life, gang life, yeah, crime. Yeah. You get yeah. me? Really, you're hanging out with your boys, but then yeah. you form gangs, cliques, and yeah. little tribes, and that. I'm glad you said that because you see a lot of the time, you see a lot of the guys in this era, mm-hmm. they consciously put themselves in a gang. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. get me? Yeah, yeah. So I like, to be people, I like people yeah. to let I like to let people know that I accidentally got into a gang. Yeah. Got and you. when I say accidentally, like I hung around with my friends and yeah. it just went left. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? You didn't my have friends. a choice. Back we didn't then. have a choice. Yeah. We didn't go out there and say, "Oh, let's hang around together." Because for a lot of the years, we was hanging around together and we had no beef. We yeah. had no problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We was just causing trouble, like stealing and smashing windows, playing knock down ginger, mm-hmm. whatever it is, yeah, fireworks yeah. time. We used to meet up like in the Main stuff Street. That any kid would do, really. Yeah, like yeah. any kid will do. So, but I, I like to say it to so people don't think that we're abnormal and we're just yeah. reckless kids on the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah. we done the we done normal things like even in Pembury and London Fields. In between it, you know, is a Main Street yeah. mm. McDonald's. Yeah, we used to meet up there and play with the fireworks and have a yeah, little yeah, firework yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. something against each other. Yeah, yeah, but there was no dramas. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? But that was my that was my early days and. We got into like travel agents, post office, and bank robberies, and this was like yeah. So around you lot were doing, you 15, lot were doing moves at fifteen, Crazy sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Get your yeah. mum's pocket money, weren't cutting it. Yeah, no, me, no, no. Fresh. 100%. I haven't, I haven't asked my mum for nothing since I was twelve years old. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it felt so good just to be able to provide for yourself. Yeah, yeah, so she don't have to, even though in them days you wasn't allowed to provide yourself because your mum's thinking, you're hiding your trainers. Yeah. Yeah. I just hide my trainers in school. Yeah. Yeah, you can't come home with... Yeah. Where's all of this stuff coming from? from? Yeah. So my mum was a very strict lady. So like, at that time, yeah, obviously during this time, men are doing crime or whatever mm. to get Dior, Chanel. At that time, what was, what was the name brands that you was, you get me, doing I the I was into school? like Iceberg, yeah. um, Machino and Versace. I've never, never, never been into like, the Oz, Louboutins, and yeah, all yeah. that. That's a, that's yeah, a, that's I a, that's think a, they but weren't even in that early era. Times, it was like a lot. Prada. I wasn't even into era. Prada. Yeah, I, I used to think these things are too expensive for me, bro. Yeah, like do you know what I mean? Like I like I like quantity, not like yeah. not too much quality. Don't give me don't give me a pair of shoes for two thousand pound. Yeah, give me yeah. two thousand pair of shoes. So do you how, know what I mean? How long did that string of like robberies last for? We was probably doing it from I probably from fourteen to sixteen, and then I went away. Okay. Yeah, I went away about um, 16 for um, travel agents robbery. Yeah. Yeah. How long was you in for? Got 18 months, done about nine. Okay, okay. done half. Do you get what I'm saying? And yeah, what was that like for you? It was, it was, I'm not going to lie. It was how, did you get, like, no, how did you get caught first? How did yeah. I get caught? Yeah, then tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to question. my guy, man. Because <laughs> one of my guys, like, he, he done the real... He done the real black thing. Like, you know, when he got caught, like, yeah. he turned to me and was like, come out, like, we're caught. 
So we okay. we done the robbery. Long story short, but it was a bit it was a bit dumb on 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 my behalf. I think we locked the people in a room, but we locked them in a room with a phone. I like used to go in there, but Okay, we never you used no weapons. Proper stick ups. Yeah, we never used to use no weapons because we always knew. And I'm, I used to have a solicitor that was very close to me, and this that and other. He used to tell me little tricks and say, you know what, da 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 da. Yeah. That isn't supposed to. I'm not going to say his name, but he'll be <laughs> like, don't bring a knife in there, don't bring a gun in there. Because be if right. you do, do not be... try this at home, guys. No, no, no. I'm just yeah. telling you about my old life. This is yeah. like in the nineties. Because obviously, <laughs> Tricky's going from Malcolm Little to Malcolm X. Yeah, right yes, right bro. Oh, I see. Just, I'm following the journey. My guy, you I'm know. following the journey. No, I like the way you said that. Yeah, Malcolm but I'm saying Malcolm it because um, I'm saying it. What was I just saying about now? You were saying that your solicitor said. Yeah, like oh, it can go sense. from if you carry a knife or something or this that and it goes from um, just normal robbery to armed robbery. Yeah. So we never ever wanted. It was always about the money. I've never ever wanted to hurt no one. So anytime, da, 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 anytime anyone done that, it will always get my back up and I'll go crazy yeah, yeah. because you don't want to hurt no one. You don't want to scare no one. Yeah, and this that and other. But You're long just story in short, it for the peas. For the money. Yeah. I just yeah. want just the money. give me the money and let me go. Of course. So long story short, we locked someone in the in the room, but I locked them in the room with the phone. Yeah. So obviously they're bloody when we left they just for the police went to the did. train station and loads of police just come there and this that and the other man and it was chaos bagged yeah it was so chaos you... man it was so chaos. that was then... it so yeah how did it feel going to jail what was it like was you how old was you i was like 15 16 yeah so... but joe joe at that time was um a, a, a playhouse but the lesson i always want to give when i talk about it that it was boring it's time consuming and I knew from then because Touchwood never been back. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, never you're been back. Having a clean run never. Then, I guess. No, bro. I've given the. I've given the, But this is what the game's about. People are so cool with their sentences. Yeah. yeah I've got ten years. I'm only gonna do five. No, bro. I couldn't do a day. No, it's boring. I'm, I'm the same. It's time because. But no, but I like to say it because people. There's kids that grow and they automatically think I can do prison. Yeah. I don't want like They my forget how much there. can happen I, in that small that space small of sp- time. Look what look where you was five years ago. Let me ago. tell you how I much went happened away, in five years. I got eighteen months and I done nine months. And my grandmother, who's the closest thing in the world to me, mm. God bless. My grandmother passed away during that time. Oh, and I thought, never again. No yeah. one. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I couldn't do nothing. She she passed away um, through having cancer. Yeah. And I was luckily enough on, on town visits. And my mum didn't tell my grandmother because I, I was like the greatest thing in the world to her. Yeah, yeah. So she didn't even tell her I was away. We just thought, you know, we're going to blow it over. He's, a, he's, he's doing this. He's doing this course. He's yeah. away. Da, 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 da. But my grandmother knew she was passing away. and was like, no, I need to see him. I need to see him. So, so we, they had to reveal it to her. So she's come up on a town visit. And she come up on a town visit and um, after the town visit, was town visit was Saturday and she passed away the Wednesday. Wow. So she knew, she knew, I've yeah. got to get down there. I've got to get down Before, there. She yeah, wasn't yeah, even, yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that, that even that part, just to let people know what you can lose when you go in. Because everyone goes and like, you just lose time. You yeah. lose everything, bro. You lose everything, for Do you sure. get what I'm saying? And I was so young, but I thought, that's not happening again. And... I don't even want to put my mum through that embarrassment. My mm-hmm. grandmother through that embarrassment. Yeah. Like, my mum was mad embarrassed. She just tell... Of course, it's embarrassing. Tell her yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You want to go to your friends like, yeah, yeah, mom, mom, she's running off to her friends. Don't, like, have you seen my son's new show? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, you get me? Yeah, yeah, she wants course. to do that. Yeah, like, yeah, don't let her course, do that. Of course, of course. Do you get me? So that was just me just even explaining that so much was just a lesson yeah. for people that watch. Because I know what they look up to me for. Mm-hmm. So when they see that how my vision is and how my views on things are, they'll be like, nah, man. Tricky doesn't rate. I don't rate them things there. Mm-hmm. I don't rate yeah. going to prison. I like. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We've got to. You got to work. You got to do something. You got to do something else than. Have do you that feel part like in it. All, everything you earn throughout, like the robberies and stuff, like at the time, did you like gain any assets from it? Was there anything that you can today? Oh, not from, oh say gosh, not you, from robberies. Not from robberies. That yeah. So I feel like that's the message that everyone needs to kind not of. Not from take robberies. In. Like, you as don't, much you as you don't, can make all that money when you're younger, you don't ever do anything. Yeah. Yeah. That, that you should do with that money. Never. So it's just a waste of time, really. Never. It, you know why it is a waste of time? And I'm glad you made that point because at 15, who the hell is thinking about buying a house? Yeah. Nobody. Let's, let's be honest. You don't even have, don't have credit. credit. Yeah. <laughs> who the hell is thinking get about a buying phone a house? Out. And the times when we was coming out with like 10, 15 grand, yeah, houses 
were about 10, 15 grand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, houses yeah, in yeah, Hackney yeah, yeah, yeah. were like 10, 15 yeah, grand in million yeah. pound houses now. Yeah, of course, yeah. And we were running around with this money just buying 800 pound Stone Island jackets. Yeah. Got you. Averex jackets and this, that and the yeah. other. Yeah. But I don't see it as a regret because... Even if I went back, no, my mind was it. never in that. Yeah, no, no, of course, of course, course. Never, never, you were never. You just living no, your best life no at the time. Out of we all are. Yeah. So as Keely just said, like it's like, and I've never seen it as, as the way she said it, but it is kind of a waste of time. Absolutely. For sure. I will tell my son, you know what? If you can, like, don't do nothing. You don't even need to do nothing. 15, 16, 17, because everything there, yeah, is gonna be a waste of time, bro. Yeah. Because you're not gonna save a penny. Got you. Yeah. No, we respect that. Mm. Uh, it's a lesson that you lot need to learn. So but, then um, you came out of prison. Mm. What happened then? How did life go for you then? How I, old I, was I, you when you came out? 16, 17? About 16, 17. Yeah. Okay, so but around that time, obviously I, I've done a bit of research on you. I've watched a few interviews and I've read a book called Guns and Gangs. Mm. And we're not going to get me shouted at author because he ain't paying us. Mm. But, um, you know, when I read that book, it kind of gave us an introduction. I don't know how accurate it was mm. but the introduction no it's very of, accurate they, they told me things that I thought fucking hell I thought only we knew this wait hang on before we before, before <laughs> we get into what I'm gonna say yeah mm. who's providing that information to that, that I don't bro you know what I thought that I thought this guy the, I've read the book yeah and the guy is very spot on he's about well things in north south east and west yeah I know there's situations that even when he's talking about the Hackney side <laughs> yeah that actually happened yeah. but no one's been arrested for it and yeah. Yeah. but even the little arguments that may have happened yeah. to cause a feud yeah they knew about that so he was very spot on i don't know who's giving him that information but well i hope you're getting paid for it yeah so so <laughs> so going back so going back to um the book mm. obviously i think what it was well what i read was pretty much that the hackney lot and the mm. Tottenham lot will Friends at one point, yeah, 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 doing moves together, yeah, and obviously from one of your podcasts, you said there was a dispute over money, yeah, and then that's where a falling out happened. Do you yeah. want to give us a bit of an oh, insight well, into we that? We used to, we used to, um, we used to do robberies together, yeah. So we all used to meet up, like, and this is Hackney and Tottenham, Um we was we was cool. This is where a lot of the, a lot of the times we all know each other. Of course, of course, we all know each other, but um, yeah, we used to do robberies together and. You know what happens when the money gets involved in it? Things go left. So that's what happened. And then um, after it went left with one or two robberies, we yeah. used to call it bulls in. So we used yeah, to go in the bank and there, there's about, t- imagine we're all going in there together. Yeah, man puts five bulls in there. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, I, only bro. Got, I only got 200. Yeah, yeah. bro, bro, I didn't get nothing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, nah, I watched him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched him in there, bulls in, da, 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 da. but everyone's yeah. for themselves. And you see man come around with a new moped, new bike. Got new, you. New something. But then, and, and then, but after, everyone's going back to the, this is how the divide happens. Everyone's going back to, after we've, we split the money. You're going, you're back, going to back to Tottenham. Yeah, you're going yeah. back and we're staying here, Hattie. like, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. and then you're coming down with like your little new mm-hmm. moped. Yeah, oh, I thought you only got five bills. How do you get that? Da, 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 da. And then the divide happens, and then okay. little bickerings so happen. So it and... weren't over no postcode beef. It was oh more no, it... never, 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 yeah, never, yeah, never, yeah. never. It w- could never be over a postcode beef. We, we, um, and this is the saddest thing about that whole situation is that when we was in drama. I had like an auntie living in Tottenham. Mm-hmm. People in Tottenham had family. Hackney and Tottenham are so close, cool, so yeah. but yet yeah. so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one are. road, isn't it? Yeah, you know? literally. Do you know yeah. what I mean? We're yeah, so yeah. close, but yet so far. And even now, people have kind of got out of the everyday drama of it. Yeah. People are coming out with their with their relationships. Like I know people in Tottenham. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, We've been course. cool for years, but there was a time yeah. when, like, yes. the day. W- even though they wasn't involved, we still couldn't talk. Yeah, of course. Do you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it was that. Yeah, 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 it was it was crazy, man. But yeah, we was caught cool, we was caught cool at the start and then it, it's 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 something that I always like to say because watch out for how these things go because, because they will spiral out of control. Yeah. And that's what happened with it. But tell us how 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 deep it went in terms of how serious it got, because I don't think people understand the depth of that beef yeah. and oh, how in legendary the, it was. Well, the how serious it got is when one of my mates got one of my mates got stabbed, yeah. and um, and this was in our in in our younger times. And then, um, what happened after that? And then someone died in Tottenham. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? So someone over there died, and from then. It was people over here died, people over there died. Yeah, it was yeah. just spiraling out of Tip for tap, tip for tap, tip for tap. Yeah. Like, it was uh, just tip for tap. Every, there wouldn't be 
I promise you, there wouldn't be a day. I was I was young and I'd just come out because it was going on while we yeah. was in the prisons late, as well. Late teens, early 20s. Um, well, yeah. while I was in the prison, all um, 16, 17, 18, this is when it is rife and it's just happened. The first yeah. murders happened yeah. and this, that, and that yeah. other, and da 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 da, da yeah. And prisons are, they've got to keep us off of wings yeah, and yeah. they've got to keep us away from visits. And like, it's yeah. just every single minute, like on point, just going off every minute. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, crazy. So obviously, you know, I saw something came, well, on, your, on, on your Instagram where you kind of went at Chip and Bugsy Malone about saying that how they squash their, their music <laughs> Jamie's beef. Jamie's a good guy, you know. Huh? How they Jamie's squash, a good guy. How they squash, their, how they squash their music beef. Yeah. And you're saying it can't compare to when a man dies. Do you know, so, what, it, do you know what it was? I didn't like that he... Because um, I, don't, I don't... See, when we, the problem we have in this era is when you talk about people, yeah. they automatically feel you've got a problem. Cool. Yeah. Why do you think yeah. I sat down 100%. with Mega? Because we've got to show that... We can have a disagreement, yeah. but we don't have to. They don't have to. Me and you might have. Had, people might say we had a disagreement. No, we don't have to have an argument over no. it, bro. No, we just course. have a disagreement. We, we had a disagreement on social media, but we'll speak about that later. Yeah, we'll, we'll speak about that later. <laughs> yeah. So what were you talking about? I didn't like the way they went on like it was so easy. Yeah, because there's a lot of these kids out there dying. Their friends have died, and this, that, and other. So it's it's not as easy as. Someone's friend getting stabbed and, and them taking a picture and yeah. saying we've squashed it because we're grown men. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, bro. You can't like the moment you you kill one of my friends, that's gonna sit on my chest, bro. Got you. Yeah. Like for, for for years. This is why I always tell them, don't get involved in the first place. Yeah. But I didn't like the way they made a music beef seem like Like it was really like, a, like, a real like beef. this is what the kids yeah, can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Got the you. kids can just take pictures. Be grown men. Don't worry if someone stabbed your friend. Da, 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 da. Let, let I me didn't hit, like let that. Let me hit you with a scenario though, yeah? Because mm. obviously you're the streets Malcolm X right now, yeah? Mm. Just say there's gang A and gang B, mm. yeah? Boy, a man from gang A kills a man from gang B. Mm. And the guy from gang A goes to jail 30 years and a guy from gang B is dead, obviously. Mm. Is that no opportunity for dialogue across the gangs to try come to a truce? No, because him going to prison is not really a get back. Yeah, that's get nothing it? compared to someone. It's not just someone who, who's lost yeah. their life. Yeah. So he'll go in prison and be at, at, um, he'll be threatened for the rest of his life while yeah. he's in prison, yeah. and something has to be done. And then when something's done out here, that gang B will yeah. feel like now we can squash it, gang A. But then they've lost their friend, yeah. so it's a never ending. So now they're so angry. Exactly. There's never no time, bro. Yeah. So it's a at cycle. what point can there be dialogue? A lot of these guys, bro, there's a, there's a lot of beef that's going on and no one's died. Yeah. hundred percent. There's a yeah, lot no, of beef. Died. A yeah. lot of rap beef. Yeah. Like, let me talk to even rappers because you're the prime example when you're out there. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of rappers that have beef and no one's died. Mm. Squash it, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let let go. Go. yeah, let it go, bro. Let because it there's, go. there's people that people have died and they yeah. can't squash it. Yeah. Their heart don't let them. My yeah. heart don't let me squash it. And even if it did, there's about another 10, 15, 20 guys yeah. whose heart is not letting them squash it. Their mum's not letting them squash it. Their, their dads. Yeah, exactly. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? No, there's so no. many people who are putting pressure on these little 16, 17 year olds, yeah. i.e., us. Parents, dads looking at us like, right, you can let my son die like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So, my point being is, when it's when nothing's really happened, that's the time. The time is now. There's a lot of these guys, yeah. even with the Whilst bandanas and screaming. Whilst people aren't getting killed left, right, and centre. No, I agree with you. I if no one's died, no, if no one, my point being, yeah. if no one's died, that's the let time. And not in every beef has someone died. Facts. So, if we was to check it out and say, you know what, this person's arguing with that person and no one's died, Squash it. Like, I didn't mind with Bugsy and Chip squashing it. Because yeah. no one died. No one even got slapped. Mm. But I'm just saying, <laughs> let's not make it like that That was beef. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. No one got troubled. Yeah, no one facts. got hurt. No, no, that's yeah. facts, that's facts. So it's like, don't, don't, don't make beef seem like that. Because we're going to overlook real beef that's going on. Yeah. So we're going to look at Chipmunk and, think, and Bugsy and think, yeah, guys, well done. Yeah. How come these guys can't do it? Mm. But that guy on the streets is saying... He just killed my brother. Yeah, exactly. My yeah. brother's dead, like. Facts. No, no. Do you get me? No, so no, I agree. It yeah. kind of upset me, like, because I, I understand these youths. Like, I mm. get them. And that's why I don't preach every day, squash your beef, squash your beef, because I know some of them have gone through it. Yeah. But some of them have only been chased down. Mm. So it's it's just, with a lot of them, it's just pride and ego. That's your pride at the window. Yeah. That's your ego. 
put your ego in, in, in the top drawer yeah. and come outside and chill, man. Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, no, I, you. I think yeah, not just that, you. but you need to pay attention to the, the fact that these this is just industry hype. Like, mm. these are just things that are going to get their views up. Like, these guys mm. have got money, whether you watch their stuff or not. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Like, it's not something that should be compared to the stuff that people go through in yeah, street life. Yeah, these are people yeah, that have yeah. come from nothing. These are yeah. people that are hungry, that have nothing, that yeah. do the crimes because they want to get somewhere. Like, yeah. people like Chipmunk and Bugsy, they've, they've got it. Like, so they don't need to ask say, in the words of Trick is, what, baby food? It's baby food. <laughs> it's baby food. Like, baby if it's baby food, food then just let it go. Just oh, let baby it go. Food. It's baby food. They got me about that yesterday. They was like, you know what? You take a shot every time Tricky says baby food oh, okay. in one of yeah. our podcasts. I was like, okay. baby food. I didn't know I say it so much. You but do, despite you everything you said, I've seen that <laughs> you're making the steps to try maybe not have dialogue with people that you had uh, beef with, but you've reached out to the I want to speak about that. I'm going to give the, you an exclusive here. To the yeah? younger generation. I'm going to give you lot an exclusive. Ooh, Please give it to me. There's something, exclusive. a deep that show exclusive. Yeah. Something was going is, on and hey, something was going on show, in way. my hood. And they had, um, they, and I mean, no, they, I wouldn't come on no one's podcast and disrespect another man. It's not my yeah, thing. Cool. Do you get what I'm saying? So my point being is everyone was having this talk that I, well, there was a talk that I wanted to sit down with. Um, Got you. No disrespect, as I said, we, we've we've had such deep beef, we don't talk about each other on the internet. That's one thing I'm going to say about Tottenham guys. They don't yeah. disrespect me on the internet and I don't disrespect them. Yeah. So we have our mutual, what I like to call mutual gangster respect. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? But None of that Chicago bullshit. No, we don't yeah. do that. We don't do that. I don't want to say I love them, but yeah. I like them for that. They yeah. don't call me out on the yeah. internet. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Men, it's always, no. they, men, they know men. because, yeah. because men. they know how serious it was. Yeah. They're thinking this internet stuff, that's not nothing to do with us. Yeah. And same as me. Like yeah. I would never call them out. So, but I'm only saying that because I'm saying his name. But um, people was like, "Did I want to have a sit down on my new show with him?" Mm -hmm. And it was never, 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 never. Mm -hmm. And the reason what hurt me about people, even from Hackney, about having mm -hmm. that discussion, because it was going around. My auntie called me and said someone approached her and said, <laughs> "I heard that Tricky's did it, did it, did it," and I thought. With the amount of positive things I'm, I've, I've to been do. doing, yeah. Yeah. And doing, that's yeah. what you're going to sit on. Yeah. Yeah. You lot sadden me. Because I don't even want to talk to gangsters that have been in prison and got the real, all the drug stories. I don't want to speak to people like that. Yeah, yeah. Of because I think when people come on their shows and do that, they're just selling their story. Yeah. They come out and they tell you about the guns mm. and they tell you about, yeah. I went to prison for it's 20 years. It's as if they're glorifying it. They're glorifying it so sneakily as well. Yeah. Where people think it's gems and they think, oh, he's just no, come it's, out. It's not His gems. story's the realest. It's yeah. not gems. Yeah, maybe I should hit the roads and go to jail. It's all right, yeah, I'll still have time to do this. It's glorifying it. Turn it into a Netflix Exactly that. Yeah. So everyone that goes on, and my point being when I'm saying that, I always like to let you know the points I'm making is that I don't want to sit down with old school gangsters, bro. Mm -hmm. That's not my thing. And I think me sitting down with my dad would have even proved that. But with, with people when having these, there's been a lot of discussions over the last three days. I heard Tricky's going to do this big interview with the... Bro, I don't want to sit down with none of these people. The most I want to do is just, just get on with my life. Yeah. Like you. I want to leave you to get on with your life and I want you to leave me. Yeah. Deal? Deal. Do you get what I'm saying? That's how I want to move. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to talk. I don't want yeah. to have a discussion. Yeah. I've never spoken to someone that I don't like in my whole life. Yeah. Never had that phone call. Never had that reasoning. Yeah. I don't do it. Because once we don't like each other, we just don't like each other. Yeah, leave it but, be. Um, yeah, it was just to let everyone know. It was a full story. I don't know where everyone's got you that from. And this, first. Yeah, it was a full exclusive. story. I've never... Because I was going to do an Insta. But, and, and, and do a story and just say, you know what? I wasn't going to do this. But it just sounded wrong. But since you... um. Since we was talking on the subject, okay. Bring it out. So moving away from that Hackney and Tottenham beef, there was. Let's some... not move away from it. Actually, on the Hackney and Tottenham beef, because that was like your era, but then like slightly below. So let's say around two thousand and six, two thousand seven, two thousand eight. It's quite a wide gap, but I yeah. think that's around the times that the in-house beef kicked off in Hackney. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah when probably. Hackney actually started beefing Hackney yeah, and yeah, all yeah. the postcodes in Hackney sort of turned against each other. There was a time when there was like nine to five and then nine to five was all in dramas with each other. Mm. Like there was times when, so Phil's and Pembury, which are two mm. um, areas that you mentioned were mm. tight at one point and then mm. they had crazy drama. Yeah, yeah. So where did that leave you? Because there Coming was a point a where, where you were screaming at E5, E8, E9, bang, stand bang. up. But yeah. Jay, you know, this is why you're going to be slowly become my guy as the thing goes on. 
because I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. I've always been about unity in my yeah. borough. Got and as I said before, I was probably what the one person that can go to every single borough. So even when Fields and, 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 and Wall Street might have been beefing, beefing, mm. I bought my shop. I had a, um, a sunbed shop. Yeah, yeah. I bought a sunbed yeah, shop yeah. and I had a sunbed shop yeah, in Wall Street. It. I remember it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So the little Wall Street you used to come by and be like, yeah. bro, Tricky's here. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Like, boom, 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 boom. But obviously... Because think, if, if you're 15, 16 years old at that time, and maybe, let's say, God forbid, you punch Tricky, that's a mm. come up. Mm. And you can ride that yeah, yeah, for yeah, 10 yeah, years. Yeah, so yeah, of course yeah. they're like, Tricky's here. Yeah. He's, he's like one of the match time legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get him. Yeah. Like, how did that make you feel? Did you ever feel like paranoid or No, never, never, or... never, 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 never. Because I know how my waters run deep in my city. So in every little place, I know someone. Got you. Yeah. I know yeah. someone. Someone and 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 when it comes to the streets, you gotta know someone of value. So someone of value. <laughs> so you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you're running Jamie around, knows that. If you're yeah. running around yeah. crazy <laughs> in Wall Street, I don't need to know you. I need to know. Mm, I need to know Kemsey. Yeah. Yo, Kemsey. Yeah. yeah. What's good? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? If yeah. I go um, Fields and yo, yo chaos. Yeah, what's yeah. good? Got you. Yeah, Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? If yeah. I go here, yo, bro. What's yeah. good? Yeah, yeah. So I need to and not like and it's just about it's not even about using strong arms. Sometimes it's just about being mad respectful. Yeah. You get me? And they know that any time they heard Tricky speak, it was just about bringing everyone together. Yeah. And one time I got like it must have been about two hundred people. Me and my guy Errol must got about two hundred youths from Square, Pembury, London Fields. Brought them all to Victoria Park. Swear. Yeah, I'm on a bench and I'm just like, hear what I'm saying now, boom. A conference. Yeah, a conference. Wow. They know. What? Anyone who knows this and was there, nah, just tell. we don't know this. Yeah, this is just in the comments. This is exclusive. Say there. facts. Say we, tricky nah, facts. Now we need a 2021 version. 100%. And you know what? And you know what it is? Like, it was so brave because we didn't, they, they all had dramas. There was Square, Pembury, Wall Street, Homerton, London Fields, anywhere you can mention. It was about 150 to 200 youths in there. In mm. Victoria Park, they'll never forget that anyone can say it. Yeah. And uh, I'm just sitting standing on the bench. I'm saying, hey, what I'm saying, guys? Like, you know what? End it now. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? It's dead. Like, this person ain't, no one ain't passed away. Because this is one thing I would say about a lot of their dramas in Hackney. No one hasn't died. Got you. A lot of the time, I'm yeah, telling yeah, you, if you yeah. really sit down yeah, and check yeah, it, yeah. I've checked it. Yeah. So I'm talking facts. They might not know. Yeah. But a lot of people ain't died. Mm. So they've got time for people that, in yeah. Wall Street and people in London Fields to be friends. Yeah. It's why I've never got involved and I'm glad I didn't get involved. I you hope know what the I mean? Hackney Council are looking at this and try to reach out to, to Tricky to try and oh, organise right. Come on, man. Like this yeah. Come on. Because Come on. we did a 20 yeah, version. I can do it again. But you right now, now it's gone on a bit. I can. I probably need about like... Okay. Ten officers. Yeah, ten officers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To keep yeah, me, yeah, to yeah, keep yeah. me calm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And keep me good. But yeah, it can be done, bro. It but can be done, man. Away from all of that, there was some positives that came out of Hackney and you being in Hackney, and obviously that's that's mash time. Mm. How did that come? How did that collective come together? Who thought of the name? Who were the the, the, the core think members? It was, don't quote me. God bless my guy Cheds, who passed away. Yeah, yeah. Passed away about two Cheds. years ago, yeah, three yeah. years ago. Yeah. Mm. I think it might have been him and Marks. Okay. If, 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 if I'm, but I stand correct. I think it might have been Cheds that made up the name. Yeah. Mash okay. Town. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, we know what a mash is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and yeah, you yeah. know where the town is. So it was just like, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, I know what. I originally thought that you was all from London Fields, but you weren't, right? It was no, like no, no, a, no, no. It was like quite a few areas within Hackney that you was all from. Is it just Hackney that Mash Town was from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah mainly, mainly, yeah, mainly, 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 mainly. And we used to hang around London Fields. That was the main place okay. at that time where we was around the two, six, seven, eight, nine era. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What would you say your one of your best moments being in Mash Town on the music side of things like you, you enjoy? Like what would you say? Dropping um sports. Okay. That, I think when tape. sports yeah, yeah. drop, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And that was just like the it's it's just a little place in it, Hackney, but there's mm. loads of people in it. Of mm. So when you go into your little functions and you're going to this and everyone's like, and they're playing your music. The in house the parties and you lot are flexing like, and you lot are singing your songs. Stand up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, stand, yeah. Stand up and the girl that I've been looking at for time, she's there. Yeah, yeah, cool. See this attention. Of course. Do you get what I'm saying? Cool. So, yeah. yeah, it was, it was, it, it was that, man. And I think that and the women, man. Yeah. Yeah, so like. Who, who, who's your favourite member of Mash Town? Well, who your fa- who's the f- who who you say the best is and who's your favourite member? Because for me, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna baby feed you. I'm not even yeah. gonna try be on your nuts right now, yeah. no homo. But 
You're my favorite artist in, in my I'm not gonna lie to you. Just that's me. not even a myth. A couple of people have said that. Just me, yeah. that song. Mm. I've been playing that for years. People that know me know that I play that regularly You're to my this guy, day. Bro. But hey, who's your open favorite up. artist in my channel? We're going out, out. And who's your favorite artist? Getting all the brownie points. Up. We're going out, <laughs> out, Jay. Hang on, hang on. Who's your favorite artist <laughs> in Mash Tanner? Who's who do you think the actual best is? Who do I think the actual best is? Um, Marks. Marks. Okay. Marks. 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 Yeah. Who's your favorite? Who's my favorite? Um, what rapper? In in, in Mash Tan. What rapper? Yeah. Um. Yeah, Marks. Okay, cool. So hundred percent, Marks. Your best and favorite is Marks. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 am I allowed to involve myself? Yeah. No, no. You can't include yourself. Yeah, no, I'm only joking. Marks, man. Marks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Marks. Okay. I think Marks um, flew the flag for years yeah. for us like no, do you, no. for a good two years he was flying the flag for Mash Town and Mash Town was just a name and there was like we was just hopping on tracks like yeah, yeah. excited do you get what I'm saying yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you didn't have the music platforms that we have now no we all was of in, the, like the social media and stuff I was sending guys to West End with like 100 CDs yeah. like and giving them like 30 pounds and go down there outside Foot Locker and where would you think and, Mash Town would be if you came out in this era right now where people like Fred are getting million pound deals there's there's Dave's there's AJ mm. Tracy where do you not think you lot would be now because obviously I, at that time you I think we're even a thing could there be a Mash Town yeah, reunion the distribution weren't I there. mean I and mean, you know what it was? We was just like lost in our hood love. Yeah. You see, a lot of people do it. We do it from here to America. We're so fascinated with the people that we grew up just loving us. Yeah. We don't even leave out. We don't even go out. Like yeah, we didn't. We didn't do no shows. We didn't go nowhere. I, I didn't leave. I didn't go to no South London or West London and that. I didn't leave my area till about probably 2015. Mm. Yeah, but that comes with my trauma and my and my anxiety and PTSD. this that, and the other. My PTSD. I didn't leave yeah. my area, and this is another lesson for the youths. Like yeah. I didn't leave my area for so a long time. A there wasn't a chance to actually grow like a network with other. Of course yeah. not. Because yeah, yeah. as, mu as much as it's the most dangerous, it was a dangerous place. It was my safe haven. Yeah. Because I knew the shopkeeper. I knew the guy over there. Yeah. I knew the crackhead. I knew this person. Mm. All of these people who you might come around and think these people are dodgy. I know them and I feel safe with them. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but it, it, when you're coming out now, it feels a bit, oh, who's he? Who's he? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah, people now yeah. are even looking at me just to say, is that tricky? But I'm thinking, you, I don't know. I'm what surprised it is, you like, say you know that I mean? because I, I, I probably jumped on the house, house music. Obviously, I've seen a couple of house raves. <laughs> and I remember maybe 2013, 2014. I remember going to a house rave, one of them tunnels or something like that. I can't remember no which way. one it was. No way, that was my best you years. Pa pa Paradise and the audio halls, all them type of places. Yeah. But I saw you there by yourself, a mm. couple things around you. Tell it to you. Say, say that again. No, Jay. you had a couple things by you, around you, <laughs> by, by myself, myself. Yeah. had your rollie on. Oh, Jamie. And I just thought, who made you for this? He's comfy. In it. I'm Did you hate comfy. him? Before yeah. No, but you, no, but you saying that, no, but you saying that now surprises me. Mm. About you know feeling like you could no, have... but you know what the the dopest thing with the um house scene was, you was probably the only black guy in there. Yeah, for sure. So I'm in yeah, there course, and I'm course. around my I'm I'm around the, I'm I'm around my white pals. So I'm going out with my white mates at this time. Yeah, and none of my pals from the streets were in there, and none of um an not an enemy or any anyone was in there. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So. It was it, it it was like the it was like the safe place, man. And 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 the girls like I go out with girls all the time. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it was safe, man. Okay, so off the whole sort of hackney lifestyle situation, mm. when did you start doing podcasts? And what got you into podcasts? Um, I went on a, a podcast called Blacklisted. Okay. Blacklisted UK. My guy Babs Reds, and each. They and like, we had a little talk and it was just this wasn't it wasn't even being shown or nothing it was just a talk so it was like I had an old school so, uh, so audio audio, audio. okay no video you get what I'm saying okay. no no visuals mm. but I'm a visual man like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm all, they, they yeah, yeah, all they, they, about they might have missed a trick with that one stuff they it. definitely yeah. did yeah so th they had yeah. me on there and we spoke and they was like nah the response has been dope like people just love the way you speak but I've always known like you don't you don't be on the streets for 20, 25 years and, don't and, and not know how to skills. talk to people, yeah. yeah. And not know how to talk to of people. Yeah. So this is why I like to tell some of the guys, yeah, if you can send a man conch, you can probably do this. Yeah. If you can do that, you can do this. If, if you know what I'm saying? If I can sit down and speak to like 200 bloody gang members, I can sit down and talk to two, 300 normal people. Yeah, yeah. Of course you can. Do you get what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So you've got to put your skills 
it was just me um, putting my skills from there to there. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. And I spoke a bit well and I knew, knew that. So I was like, you know what? So after Blacklisted, you said, this is me. Yeah. And I thought, but I phoned the guy, my guy Babs, and I was like, I need someone to sit down with. Like, oh, yeah. but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie so to you. So you didn't look in house. Let me tell you, okay. you're a good guy. Yeah. Because I purposely <laughs> said, Babs, I don't want a bird because I flirt too, <laughs> I flirt too much. I yeah, yeah, you yeah. Nah, yeah, people yeah. have gone so, to me for flirting nah, with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you got to. You Obviously, got I don't to. know if you know. This was one of my. This was my first girlfriend. When we was in prime. No way. No, he keeps telling everyone this. No, I was not his girlfriend. You're my guy, you know. Me, I've I've had, 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 it was I've a forty-eight hour situation for a very long time. Jamie, stop this. It's not every time. It's not funny. Don't even laugh. Is that your ex? Is it? No, it's not my ex. It's not my. Don't be like that. Come on. He's not my ex. Do you class your primary school relationships as exes? Boy, you know, I do, you know. Come on. I know you Fact. do, because yeah, you like to see their numbers yeah, high. Yeah, you I like to see their numbers high. That. Yeah, listen, I'm not here for it, no, okay? I'm not that. owning that, Jamie. Deep you keep claiming yeah, that. No, I, really. I won't claim Jamie as my ex but ever. Let's, let's, yeah, you said but you, you know, have you not got one of them packs? Before we go on, have you not got one of them packs? You know, like, I've got a pack with a couple of friends that, you know, if, you, if I get to this age and I've got nothing going on, Tris, I'm going to marry you. No, 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 we don't have that. No, you don't no, have no, them packs? No, 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 you ain't got them packs yet? No, 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 no. I love the way you said that. You've got to have one friend that you have that pack with. No, 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 no. No, rule two. We ain't got that. Jamie's good. Right we're, now, we're good. Huh? Jamie's good right, good right now. Are you good? He yeah, don't like good. to discuss um, his his yeah, private yeah, life, yeah, but easy. Jamie's well, a good guy. Going back to the podcast <laughs> and you not wanting to oh, choose um, a female. Yeah, I didn't want to choose a female, uh-huh. so I hit up Babs and I was like, "Yeah, bro, boom, 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 I need this guy. I need anyone." Mm. So he hit me back and goes, "Check this guy out on YouTube," and it was Lippy. Mm. So I was like, "Bro, shouts out Lippy, obviously my guy." I yeah. was like, no, like, this guy, like, I like what he's talking about. Yeah, I think at these times he was doing the videos to talk about when he had to run away. Yes, yeah, 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 that's yeah. the video I saw. The honesty. The honesty. Yeah, and I was like, such, yeah. he's ready to have that conversation yeah. of honesty, of like like pushing them away from that stupid sort of life and not even rating it. Mm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Because we don't, we come from the streets, but too many men rate it too much. Mm. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And I don't rate it. They're like, well, why don't you talk about the streets a lot? Why don't I want to talk about a, pl- a place that traumatized me? Yeah. <laughs> why do you, do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I talk yeah, about course, it sometimes, but I don't want to, I don't want that to be my thing every single day where people come to me and talk to me about the streets, the streets, the streets. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That place, that place killed me. But, um, so I got Lippy and, um, and he was just open for it. Open for it straight away. Okay. I think two months later, we done our first podcast. Okay. So you yeah. didn't know each other prior, just no, straight? No, 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 no. Okay. No. We didn't know each other at all. Not yeah. at all at all. He knew of me. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't know each other at all. But on for the culture, what's going on with it right now? It seems like you lot are doing other things. Lippy's with Castillo, your truth be told, like what? Is the, is you know what? Is, you is, know the gang, is the gang over? No, 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 no. We're just having a, we're, we're, closed door, we're just having a few meetings. Cause it's time to go to the next level. Yeah, of course. Like, with that, like, yeah, Spotify we've, better start dropping we've been, some Yeah, for sure. bro. We've been doing it for like two and a half years. Yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I yeah. haven't really. Yeah. But it was just about me thinking and Lippy thinking that like, we've got. A, I, I've always thought for the last year I've got to take it somewhere else. Yeah. And I up need to game. go up of and course. see where I'm gonna really take it. Like, and do the you know people what I'm need to appreciate people doing podcasts is like it's voluntary work. Yeah, yeah, we're putting yeah. our money in to entertain you and educate yeah, yeah. you and you get me, give you something to watch. So support us, but anyway, yeah. we've got Patreon, so you know. You like yeah, you're on Patreon? Yeah, we're on Patreon. We're, yeah, come on, man, support, man. And this Obviously, is, I mean, and just as you say she's, support. She's starting to only fans, so we're gonna get me rack up Just, just as you that. say support, this is why I'm here. And I like to let people know that. Oh yeah, of course. No, we've got to move like how the rappers move, bro. We've got to go on each other's shows and show our love and show our respect. We wouldn't say how other. the rappers move. Cause... No, not how the rappers we move. We don't want to move how the rappers move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, they're actually yeah, let's really think about that they one. Do a, they do a song with each other and then two weeks later they're drama in. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not promoing the song. We have to move, have to move better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get 100%. me? And just know that we're together, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. No, this is only episode four and Tricky has come and blessed us off the back Yes. you know, the legendary interview that you just had. Mm. with your father we mm. appreciate or, that so much or the title truth be told mm. and that was like a crazy thing for me to watch because yeah. I, don't, I had that relationship with my dad where i can talk mm. with him and obviously when i was younger i'm getting arrested and that mm. it's my mum coming to the station mm. it's my mum disciplining me it's mm. my mum giving me the lessons but at mm. least you showed us that there was a black man that you know can actually have that discussion with you tell you his worries mm. in hindsight 
of your situations. Mm. And obviously I saw you, you know, getting quite emotional. Mm. And obviously I, I felt that emotion. I was thinking, mm. I did, I, I teared up a little bit, like part of the way through, yeah. I teared up no, a little bit. No, I did, bit. I, I did, like, I did. I did. But I, I, if you notice, whenever I felt like I was going to really cry, I just yeah. drunk Take a water. sip of water, yeah. you get you that know, lump in your throat. You know what I liked about your dad? He showed that he's your father. He stayed strong. He looked at you when you was welling up and you could see that boy and father relationship, which was quite, Fascinating to see because you're a big man. Mm. You've got kids of your, your own, yeah. so it's quite fascinating to see. So tell us a bit, a bit more about why you was inspired to bring your father on, and you know what that meant to you. As I said, like, I'm I'm from the street, so all of these street stories and all these people with all their stories running around on different podcasts, it never interested me. Mm. I just thought all your stories are for yourself. Yeah. So I thought what, and I've always been about the people as a whole. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So me being about the people as a whole, it was, I wanted to do something and I'd, be, I'd wrap my brains all the time. See, so like how you'd be at home and I'd do interviews in my head every night. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I thought... People think you, you, you book a studio... Yes, you and you just an come here and it comes from nothing. Yeah. It's but a, I'm saying it's that because process. I don't want people it to actually baby food what I've done like and just say, no, oh, you sat down with your dad. I planned to do that. No. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was it was like I knew my ego had to go and this is what I, this is why a lot of guys can't do it. They don't want to drop their ego and drop their pride. They still want to have that hmm. I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a man and yeah. the, 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 boom, boom, boom. I've seen a couple of men be like, yeah, man, I ain't crying or that. But not not to what I've done, mm. but I've seen them doing it before like yeah. man don't cry, man don't yeah, do it. Of course. But you see me even for my son, I'm like you know what, if you need to cry, cry, bro. And, and that's there forever. Because no, nah, bro, trust me, because yeah. it, it, it doesn't matter if I cry. I can cry on Tuesday and you ain't going to slap me in my face on no. Wednesday. No. It's yeah. never going to happen. <laughs> no. So it doesn't matter. But what I wanted to, to do was make everyone, one thing we've all got, whether we're um, Muslim, Christian, black, white, whatever, we've all got dads. For sure. Do you get me? Mm. And when people go and talk about religion, you can only talk for the people of that religion. Of course. If I talk to people with dads, I'm talking to everyone. Yeah. Mm. I'm talking to murderers. I'm talking to victims. I'm talking to um, Muslims. I'm talking to Christians. Yeah. I'm talking to kids. I'm talking to women, men. You know what I'm saying? Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one thing I could do that could talk to everyone. And I thought, I was going to drop it on my first episode, but I thought, you know what? We had a um, discussion with um, Rashid. Mm. Big up Rashid, man. My guy, like, he really took the production to a next level yeah. to make it clean and and everything. But um, yeah, because your dad had an interesting story. Like what 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 kind of you get me? What I was interested in was when he was speaking about how he was adopted yeah. young right. by a white family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you, grew up in a mansion. Give us a bit more detail around that because he never really explained that situation about how he got to that point of being adopted and. You know what I mean? Black, well, he was, um, black boy with... His mum passed away when she was having, when she had him. Whoa. So my dad's mum, um, my grandma passed away yeah, when she had my birth. dad. Okay. Yeah, at birth. And um, my dad got adopted by a white lady, Miss Kingsmill. Have you met Miss Kingsmill? No, 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 no I never met. I was too young. My brother does. Yeah. My brother's a couple of years older than me. Yeah. My sisters and that have. Um, and he was brought up around Essex. Around these times, yeah, 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 with with the family, yeah, and um, a couple of them was in the navy. He was there, and it was just him, just just one black kid around, just a big white family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now he needs a doc but of living, his own. He needs but a, living his nice. own documentary. And I like the, the way he that. even let people know. I lived nice. I lived in mansions. mansions lived, that yeah. was beautiful to hear. Do you know what I mean? Because even feels... to hear that he didn't go through the racism, he didn't feel the racism yeah. like that. That was a yeah, beautiful story. But it's yeah. good. I, I thought it was good to put on a platform. He doesn't everyone, seem bitter. Yeah, mm. bro, bro, you know what it is? He I love my black seem like people, a yeah? Old black but man, yeah. a lot of people come out every day and it's like, they still can't get over... Old shit. The old shit. Yeah. And it's like, they're still bitter over it and mm. they want me to be, you know, like, Tricky, mm. how do you feel about this black stuff? I go, well, boy, like, mm. I'm here with white Kate. Yeah. Like, just chilling. Yeah, yeah. It was beyond my time. What do you think I feel? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm all yeah, right, I'm all right. Toad in the hole. Yeah, you know mate. No, I'm all right with that. in the nap. So, <laughs> but I'm glad my dad is. It's a fair day. Not that big day. Come on. Like, yeah, it is actually. It is. So, you don't fuck with the snowflakes. Of course you No, oh gosh, I love white women. Yeah. White women love me. Yeah. And I love them. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, do you get what I'm saying? But I do also love, I do also love my black women. Of course you got a black son. That's not. Yeah, my black women, they know I love them, man. But they just, they just don't fancy me. 
Yes. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know. You know what it is? I think they think that because of the way I speak and the way I move and the way yeah, I, I behave, they think that they're not for me. Don't, but don't get me wrong. After I've done that episode of my dad, I've been getting the real... The real love. Wow, Erica the DMs Bat- are Erica popping Maya off. Angelou girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> and you know, it is not even for, it's not even for <laughs> nothing like that. It's yeah. just like, say, Tricky, we love you. Like, I like what you've done and, da, 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 and it feels good. Like, but yeah. yeah, man. But that that episode, I knew I had to do it because um, it was just something that no, no one's ever done. And I knew people wouldn't have done it. Mm-hmm. Because they're a bit scared of how it looks, or of course. some people ain't got, as you said, bro. God bless. Some people ain't got that relationship with their dad. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? Some 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 people ain't fortunate enough. And yeah. anytime we see our black fathers on the screen, mm. it's always they weren't there. Negative. They're not doing this. Yeah. They're not doing that. My dad yeah. never done as much as my mom. I yeah. promise you, no, he no, never. No, no. Yeah. But at the same they, they time, don't. I still respect him. Yeah, He's yeah. my guy, like. Yeah, of course. Do you get what I'm saying? I can't put myself in that world and say, why wasn't you here on this Saturday? Why didn't you do this? Well, he could have been going through hell. Mm. Do you get me? So while I'm, I might be going through certain things certain times and want my son to understand me mm. of why, oh, that dad can't come this weekend because I'm working, I'm doing this, yeah, yeah. Mm. boom, boom, boom. I want my son to understand me. Mm. So I have to understand my dad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that... Me doing that, bro. Now it was a big, big interview. It helped for sure. more people yeah, that was a big than I could ever. No, it did help. I've never been able to. I've never not been able to answer all my DMs. I can always answer all my mm. DMs. Mm. I take a little hour out, like fifty or sixty odd here and mm. there, like hundreds. Yeah, hundreds. Yeah, Overwhelming, yeah. bro. No, and I can't thank it, people enough. It was a big, 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 big interview. Big podcast. Yeah. yeah. For those of you that haven't seen it, it's on Link Up TV. Yeah. It's Truth called be Truth Be Told, and that was the second episode, so make sure you watch both episodes, make sure you subscribe to that. It was very insightful, 100%. Mm. Even as a female looking at that, mm. that made me feel like, I even had a chat with my dad after that. Mm. Like, it made me feel like, I need to catch up with him. I want to have a sit down with my dad one day, and like, I should, I should. It was beautiful to see how you felt like there was nothing that your parents could do, and your dad felt like mm. I should have done more. Mm. That was the beautiful thing to see. And I feel like everyone a, needs to see that. Yeah. Man Let or me, a woman, yeah, our on. parents, your mum right now is probably blaming herself for something that you are not even thinking about. Yeah, a thousand Oh, mum's not even stressed. A thousand oh, oh, I can't go sleep. Keely, and da, 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 da. Mom, don't, just to let them know, don't stress. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I'm cool. Like, yeah. I love you. Da, 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 da. My dad probably, my dad phoned me the next day and son had a good sleep. Brilliant. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, God, probably the best one you've had in a long time because you don't need to worry. We spoke about it in the open. Yeah, and it was just my shoulders. thing for, I want people to do that. You don't, not everyone has to do it on camera. Mm-hmm. It's just that I've got a platform, so I'm showing it. Yeah, you get course. me? And me and my dad have conversations no, all the time. Like, so, yeah. Someone yeah. needs to do it to Someone show everyone that it, it's man. possible. But so. I don't, want, to do I it, don't want my dad to get any ideas and think he's going to come on my platform. Fam. I'm still onto you for them trains that you promised me at 11 years old. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I want them trainers before any podcast. Don't play yourself. Back, 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 tricky. Like, man. Out my trainers first. Then you can come. You can think about it. But yeah. But anyway, man. Now, now thanks for coming. But what, 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 what's your ambitions for the next let's say what we're in february next 10 months next 10 months um what we're going to be seeing from tricky to make truth be told one of the biggest um shows mm-hmm. at like real talk and make it put it on a let's say make it the go-to place mm-hmm. i want it to be the go-to place bro for like a open therapy mm-hmm. yeah so people can come talk like put their heart on the line, say whatever, do whatever. Um, for the culture, yeah, bring that back. Bring that back. And okay. really, to the youth as well, mm-hmm. do a lot for the youth. Like, even with podcasts and with filming and what they want to do, just really Help. bring the... Yeah, bring it, bring really. Encourage them. Yeah, bro, and put my name on it and with them. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Mm. So I know it can... But yeah, I want to do a lot more for the... I want to do a lot more for the young people. Yeah over the next 10 months with my platform and um, with certain tools that I've got. So yeah, I think that, I think that'll be it, man. So do you feel like you have any regrets in life and what advice would you give the youth of nowadays? Um, regrets like? Anything that you feel like? Reg- I've got loads of regrets. The only thing I don't regret is women. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, people always have like, oh, I regret her. I regret yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I, I love every single one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You learn so like, many lessons from relationships, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 oh, gosh, no, sorry. I think that's a man now thing. Now you said that, I got one or two regrets. Do you actually regret yeah, it? Yeah, I got one or two. <laughs> Got one or two birds I wish I'd never met. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. We've all got one or two, but one or Them two have a, a lot is, 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 is kind of <laughs> decent. But regrets, I think my regrets were... Because I think in our in the black race, we're the only race that when we do street stuff... We pray for it. No, hmm? we only do street stuff. Okay. See, I was following a couple of my white pals now, and they'll, or tomorrow morning, da, 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 da. yo, mate, was it? They'll be at they're work. They're in property. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're at they're work. They're like, Trish, and they're... you know what? You know I can't see you after six. I'm working at my dad's construction. Yeah, of course. We're going to be down in the back. Yeah. Boom, 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 yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah. We are the only race, if you notice it, when a, when a black when a black you is a hustler, he's really a hustler. Mm. Yeah. Check him at 10. He's just waking up. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. While the other guy, is, he's a hustler, but... He's gone to work from six. No, I can't yeah, do nothing. Six, my yeah, my yeah, dad's on to me. And he's still got that respect. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think we need to... We I think my re, I think my regrets is just... To stay on what you said, my regrets is only doing one thing yeah. and just being known for that when I could have done so many other things at the same time and yeah. built something That's crazy, also a, crazy. a hackney mentality, I would say. 100%. I find 100%. that people from outside of London, mm. they don't have that same mentality. They're no. probably the people that you're talking about yeah, that yeah, are doing 100%. the multiple things. But within London, mm. our brains were small. We weren't even thinking to expand on different mm. things. We weren't even thinking about buying houses when we were, we were those days. As you said, your priority was to get your Stone Island jacket. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, That's yeah. what I mean. So. But as I said to you, I'm one of many. There's many that haven't left Hackney in their life. Yeah. yeah. I promise you. I'll take some guys right now. Yeah. And yeah. they couldn't tell you what Spain looks like. They couldn't tell you what Gatwick Airport looks like. I ain't been there, bro. I ain't going there. Like, do you get what I'm saying? They couldn't mm. tell you what Brixton looks like or yeah. Peckham. I've been Peckham, I've been Peckham once in my whole life. <laughs> no, no. I know a bag of Peckham yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? We got relationships about like South that. Peckham, Peckham, Brixton, yeah. Crystal Palace, they're all the same place to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but that's that's the how countryside they, yeah. to me. That's how they see um, East London. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. It's like when we when was in prison, they used to be like Hackney. After Hackney, they don't know what they to don't say. Know, yeah. It's only now recently they know Hackney. Because of, yeah, of the music. Because of the music. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what sure. I'm saying? But yeah, but, no. Um, yeah, no, 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 no real regrets. No real regrets because it's all brought me to. Any last advice? Any advice to the youth? Like you know, one piece of advice you'd give to the youth going forward. Um, one piece of advice. What would I give them? One piece of advice. Um, this could be on any topic. You don't have to be any topic. You don't have to be in a gang to be cool. Oh, you don't have to be in a gang to be cool. You don't have to be in a gang to be cool. No, no, no. But no, what people need to hear it because they think that that you don't have to be in a gang to be cool. That puts the coolness up a bit, and it don't, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's putting your life at risk. So to be cool, you're putting your life at risk and getting chased down by a man you've never met in your life. You don't need to, man. You don't need to. I I got some of my mates that have never been in gangs, bro. Coolest guys and. And they get, they get as much. They get honeys. They get money. Yeah. No drama. If I could be that guy and I yeah. can get the girls and do this and da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. If I could have done it and I could, where do I sign? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> no, with, without the ha- the hassle of having to leave a place because this person might be there and this that and the other and. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And Look at him acting like he's not that guy. Who? You. <laughs> you de- if I could be that guy, you definitely <laughs> was that guy. Don't even try no, it. But I, I'm, he's but being this is me on my ego giving advice in it. So my, my advice would be, yeah, man, come on, man. And you, and you know what it is. What well, one thing I would say: talk to your elders, man, and listen to us. Especially if it's a, don't listen to everything I'm saying. Like I'm, I'm not a saint. Mm. I'm not a saint. A hundred percent will put that on 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 thing. I'm not a saint. Mm. Like so, before any woman yeah, comes under there, be yeah, like, he's not a saint. Your mouth he's like this. Hundred percent. I'm not a saint, but I would say listen to your elders, man, because like there's some people I like myself that I'm gonna really give you the realness, bro. Yeah. Like the realness, and not the realness about yeah, roll like this or roll discreet, and the, that's not telling you the realness. That's just telling him to look out for danger. Yeah, yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. The realness, bro, as how it will eat you up, spiral out of control and take everything away from you. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. I, I was at a stage, bro, that um, having so much, so much money, buying a house, I bought a property just over there. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Money and this, that and the other. And I 
lost it, went through crazy confusion and this, that, and the other. Mm. And then, without having as much as I had before... You're all happy. There you go, Jamie. What's a way to end it, Jamie? <laughs> Happier than hell. Yeah. There you go. How did you know? Happy I'll as be, Larry, I'll bro. You can feel I'll my energy, bro. I'm happy, nah, mate. I feel you. Do you get what I'm saying? I've got That's... my son in the building. Yeah. Shout out to Young him. T, 11. My yeah, guy. Him up. Yeah. Love you, son. Sitting there all humble in the background. Yeah, <laughs> yeah son. Mm-hmm. But this has been a big, big interview. You know? no, Thanks for no, blessing the team. God show. bless you, man. Thank you so four. much. Hundred percent. COVID. But COVID. one last thing. Because like, wait, hold on. Last week, last week we had a Valentine's special, yeah, and I mm. said something a bit controversial. Yeah. What did you say? I said. Um, I what, think I may have seen it. I said. Oh God. What, what, I said. No, go on. I said, when I meet women, I'm mm. so glad he brought this up. I have a budget that yeah. I set for them. Yeah. Yes, and you said it was eight bills or something. Uh, no, for no, her. No, he said he was gonna it, give. Yeah, the, yeah, that was just a, the guest that we had. I was thinking that's a bit. Lot, that's a bit. That's a bit. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Eight bills. They were trying to tell me on some escort and prostitution thing. No, it's eight bills is a lot. No, man. but I just said for her. So what's your budget? Right. I don't really have a budget. You don't look at girls and say, you know what? Four bill budget. No, we used to do that, but we used to do that for her her outfit. Okay. Like if we see, I mean, you never seen a beautiful, amazing girl. I mean, you see me, I'm a trainer's person. Mm. That's why I love Keely. Mm. I'm a trainer's <laughs> person. <laughs> you see, your your forces better be white and yeah. fresh, fresh as hell. Yeah. I've seen some beautiful women yeah. with some, and if you sort the trainers out, she's going to be perfect. Yeah. yeah. So we used to look at them and be like, oh yeah, that's 200, 200 250. Yeah. Five bills. Got you. Come on, see, I told you. This ain't. But dating wise, this it. is not. No, but dating wise, dating wise, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no budget, man. There's, there's no, no budget. budget. No, not like so, that. So like, what, I'm what, just going to blow the like, budget. Are you going to go yeah. like, 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 you going more deep? Would you see a girl for three months, spend about 2K, and she hasn't. You get me showing you a bit of nipples or anything. I'm like the wrong guy you've got here. I could never spend 2K on a woman in I've, three months. Oh. Never. Exactly. That's why never. you need a budget. For them men that don't know. You see, if I spend 2K, you've gone on a plane and you've stayed in a very nice hotel. Yes. And I've probably bought a few of your These clothes. These girls are talking about 10 Chanel runners and that. You just need to get your money up there. Yeah, see, I'm not. <laughs> Love it. Love it. It's coronavirus. Yeah, yeah right wrong now, guys, man. man. Wrong guys. But anyway. Wrong girls. He's going for the yeah, wrong girls. Wrong girls, wrong guys. guys. Anyway, wrong tricky. Girls. Thank you again for coming. Thank if you. you Come on, man. Much. Anytime, man. God we bless you, man. Come on, Obviously, man. you got a truth be told coming out Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's with um, Ali Ar Ali. Okay, Ali Ar Ali. Yeah. And that's at 3 p.m. Yeah, 3 p.m. Link TV. Yeah. Make sure you watch that. The link will be on Tricky's page. We'll put his hat in here. Yeah, but um, no, no, no. I got no one to big up, man. Big up my son, man. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to him, man. Big up my big mother as well, man. She yeah. thinks I'm getting at her, but yeah. I love my big mother. <laughs> yeah, big That's up forever. my big moms. That's forever. Yeah. Gang business. But Keely, you wanna say anything like you wanna say any goodbyes to the um, no, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. No, come on, man. It. You've been a lovely first special guest. So no, come on, man. Thank you. It's been you. a great conversation. I hope a lot of people can take a lot of information from this. Make sure that you like, subscribe, make hit the sure you subscribe, button. man, and share. And our I like team, the questions bro. as well, man. So, and yeah, man. Come team, on, share man. the love, Don't man. Share the love. Out, man. I see Bear Podcast is getting more views than us, and they're not better than us. Come on, bro. Then Say it with your chest. Really. This is what the energy. Hate her, energy. Yeah, come on. Deep, energy. Come on. Deep what I'm saying. You guys yeah. know we've got the Anyway, we've yeah. got the topics. Thank you for coming, man. This mm-hmm. is the Deep That Show, episode four. God bless you. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, right, cool. That's that. Sick. No, that was that nice. Was good. Come on, bro. Flowing, 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 flowing. Energy. Flowing.